What is up everyone? Welcome to my channel. I'm Shantay and I hope you're having a great day. In today's video we have a special guest. <laughs> Yay! You can Yay. introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, I'm Danielle. <laughs> I am an actress, producer, writer, jack of all trades and now yeah, I'm here today to chat to you guys and Shantay obviously. Yeah, yeah, so I hope I'm... you are having a great day. <laughs> you are having a great day. <laughs> I I, I'm going to do her makeup and we're going to do it in the style that you would do it for auditions. Yeah, so we're basically focusing on how to do your makeup for an audition or you could actually uh, apply it to a job interview as well because you want to do sort of the same thing. Nice yeah. Things. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, remember to like, subscribe and ring the bell notifications, follow me on my socials and to follow who on her socials, I'll put it up on the screen. <laughs> and yes, let's get into it. Cool. So how would you say you need to do makeup for an audition? Well, the key is to keep it as natural as possible because people yeah. want to see what you actually look like because they can't see photos of you and then see you in an audition room and it's not the same person or they can't see you in an audition room with crazy makeup and then they <laughs> so get you on set and it's not the same person. Like <laughs> so they want complete sort of honesty, but what is always good to do is just to highlight your features, that, the, all the features that mm. kind of make you stand out because yeah. obviously in an audition, you have to stand out. So for me, for example, I always focus on my eyes because my eyes are crazy and big. <laughs> Um, and stuff thing. like that, yeah. So just highlight what, what you've got essentially, but don't overdo it. So you don't contour, you don't do all that stuff? No. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, I just mix like two colors to get her color. Well, let's see if it's her color. Yeah, it looks good enough. Oh, Off beige good. enough. Off beige enough. <laughs> Off beige. So how did you start acting? <laughs> how did I start acting? Sure. In 1982, no, <laughs> in the year of now, I started acting when I was 10 years old, which yeah. is now 19 years ago. You guys do the math on my age. But you're still young. You're still young. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it, absolutely. And I look like early 20s, so I'm going with that. Um, Fine. So, yeah, I, when I was 10 years old, I got this role in a SABC film that went to Europe as well. Um, cool. And I did this audition. My, my mom and dad were actually working on the production as well. Uh -huh. And they were doing auditions with girls at my school. Okay. And then the girls at my school were like, why is Danielle not auditioning? Yeah. And so they were like, oh, wait, we've got a kid. We should maybe audition her as well. You know, she might like it. And at first I was like, no, nah, I don't know. I don't you guys are, because my parents are actors. Oh, really? So I thought, oh, I don't know. I don't think I should do this. But then I did it anyway. And then um, the director, who didn't know that I was their daughter, he said, yeah, well, her, she's cool. <laughs> and then I got That's that cool. role. And then I went on set for the first time. Well, I, I've been on set. I had been on set, obviously, for a very long time with my parents. But doing it yourself, suddenly I was like, wow, this is this is cool. This is what I want to do. So when I was 10, I sort of fell into it, in a sense. How and do you remember yeah. lines? That's always been in my <laughs> mind. I'm like, how do you remember everything? You'll always tell people you, you can't just memorize lines like you would memorize work for school. Because, uh -huh. you know, we tend to memorize stuff like on our fingers and blah, blah. But with lines, you have to feel them. You have to play them from the beginning. So, for example, if I have to learn a line, I'll play it out. I won't just read it over and over again. Because mm. then your, your mind makes connections that you usually wouldn't. And your body as well. I mean, dialogue is in the body. We don't just sit still rigidly no. and talk to each other. I mean, well, I am imagine now. That. <laughs> yeah, but there's movement to it. So it really helps to get it in your whole body, get it essentially. In. You know, you have, to, you have to be confident because you have to be vulnerable. It makes no sense, but sort of sense. Yeah. Because acting is basically showing the entire world what you look like when you're sad and what you look like when you're making a fool of yourself. And it takes a, quite a degree of confidence, but you ever get maybe also a degree of stupidity. <laughs> putting yourself out there. Yeah. I remember last time you did my makeup, you made me look like a depressed, sick person. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I did not make you look pretty at all. You look quite shitty. I, I looked shitty, but it's a good thing. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I, it, that was the point. Yeah, I lived in Germany for a bit. Oh, really? Yeah, and France, but France was quite short. But yeah, for exchange programs and things mm. in university. Oh, that's and cool. it was, I, I had one summer in Germany and I had one winter there. And it's totally extreme. Like Berlin was 37 degrees every day in the summer. So it was oh so hot and humid. 
But I loved it, it was awesome. And then in the winter, obviously, it was snowing and everything. And, and what's your favorite place? Favorite place in terms of living or Bye. just going? The fa your favorite European country. Germany. Germany. Yeah, definitely. Germany. I haven't been to Italy and I think that might be my favorite if I go. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But Germany so far, yeah, I would definitely live Ooh. there. Mine is Spain. Oh, Spain. awesome. I love Spain. How long are you there for? Well, in Spain? Mm. Oh, oh, like four days. <laughs> but that's enough. <laughs> that's not the point. <laughs> it's like a Spanish man. It's enough to steal your heart. It's cool. <laughs> cool. Now, Germany is great. I now would definitely live in Berlin. It's very Berlin. sort of cosmopolitan. It's very, it's like Joburg, but safe. <laughs> I didn't go to Germany. We just we drove through it, but that's about all I've done. Yeah. Okay, so we'll make it look natural. Usually, I'd like really contour, but in the next in in the next one in when we glam it up. <laughs> we glam it up. Oh, that's what we're also gonna do. We're gonna glam this up there. Yeah. You can't waste a good face. You don't of waste makeup. a good makeup. Face. <laughs> I'm not saying I have a good face. You have a beautiful face. <laughs> Imagine. You can't waste a good. You face. can't waste this good face. <laughs> Let's not overdo it, Chante. Let's not overdo it. <laughs> stop yourself. Stop, okay, stop. <laughs> just a little bit there and a little bit there. Okay, cool. So you just put a little bit of eyeshadow on you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think with, I usually use something that's got like a slight bit of glittery feel to it, but it's not, mm -hmm. it's not like a, okay. a crazy sort of right. thing, yeah. Like once again, just to highlight features and not to not to create new features. No. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. How's it being in Sierra Leone? <laughs> Question of the year. Question of twenty twenty <laughs> has nothing to do with Corona. <laughs> so I was like, Sierra Leone takes it. Um, how's it to be in Sierra Leone? It is nice. fun mm -hmm. because um, you get to do really weird things on Sierra Leone, and I don't know, you know, people who watch it. Yes, it's a soap opera, cool, but it, it's it's quite, it's high energy for a soap opera, if that makes sense. Okay. So there's a, I mean, I just, a, f a month ago, I got dressed up as a Princess Harley Quinn I saw that ballet thing. Um, her name was Princess Pirouette, because she's this f kind of character that a guy sees in a video game. And then she, I, I kind of switched between the two characters, my obviously my normal character, Nikki, and mm. then this character. And that was just so much fun because it's something so out of the box. Um, yeah. I mean, I played netball on Sea of the Lawn and I've never played <laughs> netball in my life. Um, I had to figure it out myself. But my character apparently does it really well. But that's the cool thing about acting is uh, you do things that you never do <laughs> or that you would never see yourself doing. Um, so yeah, Sivan Lan is fun and the people there are cool. The actors are so just lovely. But I think the, the most irritating thing about an actor can be ill preparation. You know, when they mm. show up on set and they don't know their lines or, yeah, yeah it's just... Irritating. But I think that's with everything, is being prepared is probably the key to oh anything. Oh my word, and people that aren't prepared just it kills me. Yeah, or on time. Oh my goodness, yeah, that's the worst. Because I'm very pedantic about time, very. It's good though. Sometimes too much, but like I would rather be 10 minutes early. I'm the same than 10 minutes late. Yeah. Anytime. I'd rather be early than late. And then you get actors, well, not specifically Sivan Lon, but mm. I've worked with actors before who they go out partying the night before, they show up hungover or they show up too late for their call times yeah. and then they kind of retard the whole day, you know, and you don't want that. No, but, it. you know, your, your reputation always flows because the industry yeah. is so small that people will know what you get up to. So it's like, it's useless you to, to, to do it. Yeah. <laughs> now the industry is extremely small. Like yeah. everyone knows everyone. The chances of someone asking you, do you know so-and-so and you saying no is mm, very slim. slim yeah. Yeah. And would you ever do, do you do workshops and stuff for people that want to be actors? Yes, we do. Well, I do it with my mom because mm -hmm. my mom is awesome. <laughs> Aww. Um, yeah, so we do a lot of, uh, Workshops we do one-on-ones at the moment. We're doing most of them online yeah. It's difficult to do acting classes over zoom, but for some reason mm. it's working because especially for film mm -hmm. I mean you are gonna see this person on screen and they're gonna tape themselves anyway So yeah. now zoom offers you the opportunity to see them directly on screen, which is quite cool. Which is actually nice um, 
so yeah, we do that, and then we do obviously live workshops with groups of people yeah. everywhere, going to Brumalanga, for example, and okay. all over. And then yeah, we do webinars every now and again as well, which is quite cool. And that's all about like the practical stuff, because in universities, I mean, I'm not sure what the programs are doing at the moment, obviously, but yeah. I think in universities you learn a lot of theory and so on, which is great, but it's not going to help you get a an acting job. So. What we do is we we have a lot of postgrad students who've done a drama degree mm -hmm. and then they come to us to learn about the business of acting which is because i mean yeah. even with me because i did the technical parts yeah Stanbosch, there's a lot of them i mean how many acting students were there there were yeah there's a lot at Stanbosch, yeah. and there's only like a handful that actually made it onto tv and stuff, yeah so a lot, a lot of people go into teaching uh lots of people go into you know behind the scenes stuff which is also cool. But then, um, yeah, we teach them just like how to get an agent, how to do nice headshots, how to nail an audition, how to do a self tape, how to, all of these things that you don't learn necessarily, mm. um, which you sort of learn on the job. But it's nice to have a shortcut and to go, yeah. okay, well, I know how to do this. So do you think, controversial question. <laughs> I love controversial <laughs> questions. Do you think it's worth it to go study acting or not? It depends on your experience. That's what I always say. Okay. I did not study acting yeah. because I had so much exposure to the industry yeah, by the time yeah. I got to that age. Um, and I had access to, well, I decided to rather do workshops and mm -hmm. um, I'm going to New York the year after school for eight weeks to do like a, a, a course, um, acting course, but it was like a scholarship thing. Yeah, and then I came back and I decided to study other stuff so that I could have other skills as well. Yeah. So I, I don't necessarily recommend my path because everyone has a different one. But I do, if you've got experience by the time you get to matric, don't study drama. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, or, you know, get involved in the drama department, cool. Yeah, but, but I then, think, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, that's my personal experience. I see so many people, obviously, so, yeah. so many people, and I mean, varsity is expensive, mm -hmm. it's not cheap. Yeah, and exactly. And they just wasted all those years and they don't do anything. Well, I mean, I don't do anything related to my degree either. So. <laughs> so. What did you study? Like uh, Drama technical. So everything oh, backstage, okay, cool. the lights, sound, makeup. Okay, I guess I do. do <laughs> <laughs> Video editing. There we go. Yeah. So, like, but it's fun to do technical stuff for theatre, actually. But if, see, if you do, if you want to do that, like, I would definitely recommend studying. Because that's different, I think, like technical stuff. It's so much work. Yeah. Because I know uh, my, my boyfriend, for example, studied at Kofsi's. Fiance. Fiance. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird to say that. He studied at um, Bloemfontein, mm -hmm. University of Free State, drama. But the technical knowledge he got is incredible. So yeah. in that case, yes. We always used to get mad at the acting students. Why? Because they, they think, because they, they think they're the shit. When they're in varsity. And yeah. it's so irritating. <laughs> I, my mom says something funny. She says that acting, because she was an acting student herself, so she's mm -hmm. critting herself as well. They're better actors outside of the class than in the class. It's true. You know, because I find, but it happens with a lot of students overall. They try to develop a personality for themselves that they think they should be, but that they aren't necessarily. Mm -hmm. It's like this image that people put on. Yeah. Um, and I think that's where that comes from. Yeah, I think. Yeah. But it's, I think if you want to be an actor and if you want to be a successful actor, you have to... You, it takes so much focus. We used to get so mad because they would be so full of it. They would come to us and be like, please, can you clean my shoes? Can you clean my shoes? Like weird things, like because obviously it's for a show, but then you go to the head of costumes yeah. and make sure and say to them, listen, my shoes aren't clean. Don't just go up to any random technical student and be like, you need to clean my shoes. Stuff like oh, that. Oh, no ways. You know? But the thing is, that attitude will not, not get you anywhere in the actual yeah. industry. So that's advice that I can give to actors is respect everyone on that set or in that show. If it's a stagehand, if it's a stage manager, if it's a lighting designer, if it's a DOP, which is cinematography, if it's... A boom swinger if you respect mm. every single person on that set because the crew is working twice as hard most of the time as you are exactly i just said uh, it's true <laughs> it's true i mean I've, I've worked in 
in stage productions where the, the technical crew would be s building a set until three in the morning, yeah, where the know. actors would be long gone and they would be sleeping. And, no, you know, they wouldn't be sleeping. Sleep. They'd be in Bohemia having drinks. Oh, well, yes, that as well. Absolutely. And uh, no, you have to have total respect for, for the technical crew. Yeah. Because also, if you understand what they... That's why I went and I did an internship and I, I did um, behind-the-scenes stuff, art department for film sets, and I've done camera work. I've done... Mm. Lots of technical stuff, writing, producing, directing, just, well, not just, but because I want to, but also because mm -hmm. it gives you perspective. Yeah. And it, you walk on set with a whole new attitude. And then you also learn to see what you like. And yeah. You no, absolutely. Yeah, and it's teamwork. I mean, film and theatre, it's, it's a team effort. And if the team doesn't like each other, it, it shows. Uh, <laughs> it sure. does show. So what else is coming up to you this year? What else? Corona. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Hopefully you don't get it. Hopefully I don't get it, but I think everyone's going to eventually, eventually yes. um, which is scary, Inevitable. but true. Although wear your masks, because, you yes. know, don't be silly. But I think Quickly we are trying, obviously, with my company, we're doing damage control because we're theater. <laughs> and mm -hmm. having 50 people in an audience makes no okay. sense to us because that's not lucrative. Yeah, no. So I don't know how the theater industry is going to do that. Um, but yeah, we're making plans for next year, obviously, and then getting involved in like an yeah. online festival for the Free State Arts Festival and so on. Mm -hmm. um, stuff like that, keeping, keeping things going as much as we can. Yeah. Yeah. Your hair's so nice. Oh, thank you. <gasps> Your hair's so healthy. Oh, My hands I'm are glad. like dry <laughs> and so horrid, is it? Yeah, it's, it's also because it's virgin hair for now. Sometimes I would put um, liner on the top of my lid, sometimes, but it really depends. Because auditions, it depends on the brief. Obviously, you always have to read the brief quite carefully. Wow. Yes. Because <laughs> otherwise, I don't know what you're doing. Um, actors need to do research constantly. I mean, we always have homework to do. So, and you should, yeah, if you want to be an actor, just get ready for constant homework, um, including research on who you're playing and so on, you know. Yeah. If it's a if it's a glamorous, crazy, rich person, then you'll do a bit more effort, obviously, for the audition. Yeah. If it's someone who's like the girl next door, you'll keep it very natural. If, well, in most cases, you'll keep it natural. If it says drug addict, don't dress up as a or don't do your makeup as a drug addict would, well, you know, because that's their job to to do. Yeah, yeah. I know because I always play drug addicts. Why though? I don't know. I addict? think I look. I don't watch the I'm Sorry, girl. <laughs> no. Are you a drug addict in Seven Up? Yeah, my character was in the beginning, yeah. And now you're not drug addict anymore? No. Now I'm just complicated. Why? <laughs> but cool. <laughs> you want to put some? Cool. And that's also the funny thing about uh, the industry at the moment is the sets are all social distanced and, you know, yeah, sanitizers. Yeah, I was wondering how you guys and, do that. Um, so there's like no romantic scenes. When At all? Mm -hmm. No. My fiance is very happy about that. <laughs> how do they? How do you deal with that though? Like, how does he deal with that? The whole romantic thing. Well, in, like acting in general. Do you just? Well, my my fiance is also an actor, so that helps. Yeah. Uh, he does other stuff as well, like logistics and things. But um, he did study drama, and he does productions every now and again. And um, so he he knows what the territory is. Mm. So I'm lucky when it comes to that, but it is hard. I mean, if you have no clue what the drama industry is about or what film and theatre is, then obviously I think if you date an actor, it'll be an issue. Probably. And that's normal, I think. <laughs> oh, obviously. <laughs> so you can either leave it like this or add a wing. Or add a wing. Sure. <laughs> How does one model makeup? <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do smile, that. don't smile. Don't smile. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> Did you watch The Witcher? Yes, I really liked and that. You also I think liked that's it. awesome. Because oh, it, yeah. it was something different again, well, different ish, <laughs> yeah. but still. Um, and no, I think that was quite good. And I would love to be in something like that. Yeah. Even more, than, more so than Game of Thrones. I love that chick that plays Yennefer. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's great. And I, I, what, I, what I liked about Witcher is the fact that she starts the series off, you know, as being deformed and, you know, 
they want her to look hideous and whatever, but then the same actress yeah, plays, no. you know, it's not Stunning. a different actress and that's what I love. Yeah. Because, you know, an actress should be able to carry a whole role and oftentimes they just choose two different ones. So this is a natural kind of vibe makeup. <laughs> what the hair? Um, and yeah, are you going to say what you should wear for an audition? Um, in terms of clothing for auditions, you should definitely, once again, keep it as neutral as possible, unless the brief very specifically states something. So for example, I did a casting thing this week where I had to do a self-tape, and they specifically asked for like a long flowing summer dress. So then obviously you wear a long flowing summer dress. And um, people always ask me, should they dress up for the character? And I would say definitely use nuances of a character. I mean, if you're auditioning for say, a corporate lawyer yeah. type of thing, then yes, you know, wear maybe a pencil skirt or a, a, like a blazer. Yeah, don't go in a track suit then don't go in a tracksuit. Yeah, but I think it's, it's very much up to your own discretion and mm -hmm. you know, your own research. But if it doesn't say anything, then keep it neutral. I usually wear jeans and like, but even this is fine, like with a leather type jacket, maybe mm -hmm. that I can take off with a t-shirt underneath. Um, don't use branding on your t-shirts and things like that because they don't like that. And also watch out for colors. I mean, don't and wear- stripes. Yeah, don't wear stripes <laughs> because it, it the, the cameras kind of like do weird it like things. It makes it weird. There's a word for it, and I'm terrible at not it remembering. Does something. It does something. Don't wear stripes. <laughs> don't wear stripes. <laughs> well, these days with digital cameras, it is different, but you never know if it's a digital camera or not. So just stay away from stripes and try not to wear white t-shirts or white jeans or something like that because white also kind of washes it out. So mm. New, like grays gray or like black or blue or whatever, you know, mm. that works really well. Keep it neutral keep and keep it. your hair as it is. Don't, 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 don't do what I do. Don't, no, that's okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> don't do an 80s beehive. Do people still do it? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> we don't, we don't do that anymore. Well, yeah, just keep it as like is. Or it, and always take a hair tie if you're a girl, always. Because oftentimes they ask you to tie up your hair because they want to see your face. Your whole yes. face. And if you're a guy, don't overdo the gel and don't overdo anything, basically. Yeah. Keep don't wear, don't wear too much makeup if you're a guy. So, pretty much how you wake up, just enhance it a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Don't to be honest. Over, over the top. Yeah. If you're a guy, I would say like cover up spots if you want to. Because mm. many people do that. But I've seen guys show up at auditions with full on mascara and... Seriously? Yeah. And I the lipstick and everything. Yeah. Now for musical theatre it might be different because they might ask yeah, you to do certain things. Like, but overall... But also like, that's a distance. Yeah. You know, so that makes sense. Mm. Camera is like... We see everything. Literally in your face. Literally, and I cried now. <laughs> like it's in my face right now. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, guys, that was this video. And next week, we will have the part two of this, where we cool. glam this up. Well, we're doing it now, but it's only coming out next week. So <laughs> our outfits aren't going to change. <laughs> no, we must stay the same. But we really have Because it's cold. <laughs> yes, it's freezing today. Okay, guys, okay. thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one, and I'll pop her social medias up again. Okay, bye! <laughs>